Welcome to You Are There, a day in the life of ordinary Hoosiers who have extraordinary stories. A part of the Indiana Historical Society's Indiana Experience, You Are There scenes allow you to step into another era. Historic photographs are brought to life three-dimensionally, right down to the actors playing the people in and around the images. Become part of the story and see, hear, and touch history because you are there. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Well, welcome to Wolf's Hall. Thank I'm you. glad you could make it by. Um, are you flood survivors? Oh, no, we're just visiting the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Uh, maybe willing to volunteer eventually to help us? Uh, possibly, yeah. That would be mm -hmm. wonderful. This is one of our smaller relief centers. We have several scattered throughout uh, the city, of course. How many total do you have? We have six right in this neighborhood okay. alone. They tend to open up and then close um, as they're needed. Now, as you walked up here through the tavern, you probably smelled the soup that Mrs. Kiefer was making. Uh, yeah, yes. She runs a soup kitchen. She fed 500 people yesterday. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's quite a few. Yes. Being a smaller relief center, there's not enough space for people to st spend the night here. Certainly. We have several shelters where they can do that. Uh, but they can come here and get uh, mostly food supplies, although we do have some clothing. 5,000 families at least have been affected by oh this God. flood. This has all been donated. This is Mrs. Scalp. Oh, oh, pleasure to meet you. I'm nice Louise. You. And nice Mr. Box. Hi, Albert Box. Very nice to meet you. Not Very only nice are they you. volunteers here, which is uh, wonderful, we really appreciate it, but they are sufferers of this flood. Sufferers? Um, Pe people who were in the flood? Yes. Mm -hmm. They oh, wow. both yeah. have uh, fairly dramatic stories. And I believe Mr. Box has not seen his uh, wife and children for several days. Mm -hmm. I live just down the street uh, here on Nordyke Avenue. We had water all the way up to our second floor. My wife and kids actually had to climb out of our second story window into a boat just to oh, get out my. of the uh, of the flood. And uh, I've not seen them for uh, five or six days now. Oh, wow. I do know that they're safe. Uh, they're staying at Manual oh, High good. School right that's now. That's good. So. That's uh, an another uh, shelter that's been set up by the Relief Committee. Certainly. So, uh, very important for them to have a place to stay, so I'm thankful for that. Yes, indeed. And what about you and your family? Have you seen your family? Yeah, I have, although uh, just briefly, daily, it seems. Um, my daughter-in-law has my youngest daughter helping her with the grandkids, and uh, my husband and the boys, well, they've been doing all sorts of uh, volunteer work, and they're back to the house today starting the cleanup. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have to get some more beans. Mr. Box, where did the uh, blankets and those things come from? Well, from what I heard, I think uh, President Wilson ordered uh, a lot of the military bases in the affected areas to, uh, to come to the aid of those people who might need their help. So I, th I think these came from uh, Fort Benjamin Harrison, donated several blankets and some bedding. As well. you, you said the president? Is this a bigger uh, storm? or? Oh, well, it's uh, from what I've read in the papers, it is widespread. Now, of course, I've not been anywhere but right here in West Indianapolis. But uh, from what I hear, it uh, it's extends into Ohio, Kentucky, Illinois, even out into Pennsylvania and upstate New York. Well, let's go see if uh, Mrs. Scalp needs any help over here. Certainly, certainly. Uh, Mrs. Scalp, uh, do you need any help? Well, you know, I've got so many of these little bags of beans, I, they need help tying. Maybe you could help me out with that. Oh, try oh, that. I've got a little of course, for the ration baskets. Mm -hmm. Everything's weighed out in half pounds of beans and the rice as well. That way we can keep track of how much comes in, how much goes out. And uh, half pound of each of those a day, that cooks up into quite a lot of food. Nobody's going to have to go hungry. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Oh, we've got a few things that were rough. Uh, found oh, some of them on the ground out in boats, too, over here. Maybe uh, anybody in the neighborhood look familiar? Oh, Mrs. Ralston, we just got that baby doll in today. Well, I was trying to see if I could clean it up just a little bit. There seem to be uh, some new items here today. Mm -hmm. Still bringing in some stuff found from boats and such. Yes. Well, hopefully uh, some of these items will be claimed. Um, I can't imagine losing photographs and, like, um, how precious that must be. And I think when people left their homes, they grabbed whatever was close by. Now, Mrs. Ralston, we heard the other two stories of the volunteers. Were you personally affected by the flood? No, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm Mrs. Ralston's the governor's wife. I'm, oh, really? Pardon me, I should have pointed that out. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm volunteering. I uh, organized the women's committee okay. of the General Relief Committee. Uh, Mr. Ayers and I are neighbors, and we were luckily not affected by the flood, but our hearts go out to 
all of these who were affected. I, I think we might be interested in helping out. Uh, where, where could we volunteer? Oh my goodness. Well, we need you uh, to come down to Tomlinson Hall. It's a new way to live history. You Are There scenes within the Indiana experience allow you to travel back in time with virtual interactive journeys to experience Indiana's past, your past, in ways never before imagined. It's the Indiana Experience at the Eugene and Marilyn Glick Indiana History Center on the canal in downtown Indianapolis.